today we are going to see our next topic which is linear functional now we will see that what is linear functional see we have studied that if we have any mapping t which is from u to v then we say that this is linear mapping if this satisfy some condition that is if is linear if t of u1 plus u2 is equal to t of u1 plus t of u2 for all u1 comma u2 belongs to u similarly if t alpha u1 is equal to alpha t u1 for all u1 belongs to u and scalar alpha so if any mapping satisfy these two property then we say that our given mapping is linear here you see our u and v both are vector space that mean t is a mapping from vector space to vector space so this is mapping now if this mapping remains same but our domain and codomain get change that is if we have any mapping from vector space to any field then we say that this is a linear functional so this type of linear transformation is called a linear functional where domain is vector space only but codomain is field so linear functional now a function f which is from you can say if u to f is said to be linear functional linear functional if linear functional on u if f of alpha u plus beta v is equal to alpha times f of u plus beta times f of v for all u comma v belongs to u and for all alpha beta belongs to field so this mapping if f is a mapping from vector space to field and if it can be written as f of alpha u plus beta v as alpha times f of u plus beta times f of v then we say that our mapping is a linear functional so this is the definition of linear functional now we will see one or two example on based on this our first example is that example let vn of f be the vector space of ordered interpels of the element of the field f define f is a mapping from vnf to f by f of u is equal to alpha 1 x1 alpha 2 x2 plus 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 alpha n x n where this alpha i is r element of f and u is equal to x1 x2 up to xn this belongs to vn of f that is our vector space v is n tuples vector then prove that f is linear functional now solution so it is given in the question that vnf is a vector space that mean our vector our functional it is it is we have to prove that f is linear functional but f is a mapping from vnf to f 
and define in this way that f of u is equal to alpha 1 x1 alpha 2 x2 a plus 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 up to alpha n x n so we have to prove this given f is linear functional so how we will prove this we have a property that alpha of alpha u plus beta v is equal to alpha times f of u plus beta times f of v so it is sufficient to prove this so let us start its proof here f is a mapping from v and f to f is defined as as f of in the place of u if we can write x1 x2 up to xn such is equal to alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus 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 alpha n x n where this alpha e belongs to f now we have to prove that to prove that f is linear functional on vnf that is to prove that f of alpha u plus beta v is equal to alpha times f of u plus beta times f of v for all alpha beta belongs to field and for all u comma v belongs to v and f so to prove this first of all we will suppose what is x u and what is v so let u is equal to some x1 x2 up to xn and our v is nothing but y1 y2 up to yn this both element belongs to vn vn of f so we have select our u and v now we are selecting any elements alpha and beta see here we have select u and v arbitrary so we can write here b arbitrary now alpha and beta belongs to f b also arbitrary therefore by the definition of f we can write f of u is equal to c as our u is x1 comma x2 up to xn so our f of u from this definition becomes alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus 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 alpha n x n and our f of v becomes alpha 1 y1 alpha 2 y2 plus 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 alpha n y n so as alpha 1 alpha 2 are standard notation which is given in the definition of function so this u get changes but always alpha remains alpha only so first element will be alpha 1 then alpha 2 up to alpha n similarly if we are taking f of v also then also alpha 1 alpha 2 remain as it is only our vector is get changes so this is f of u and f of v now we have to calculate f of alpha u plus beta v so this can be written as f of alpha as it is we have u as x1 x2 up to xn plus beta as it is v as y1 y2 up to yn so from this we can write f of alpha x1 alpha x2 up to alpha xn plus beta y1 beta y2 and so on up to beta yn now this can be written as f of c here these are two vector in n tuples and there is a plus sign in between these two vector so i can add these two vectors since both have n element so on adding this we are getting alpha x1 plus beta y1 as a first element alpha x2 plus beta y2 as second element up to alpha xn plus beta yn as our last element see now this is in the form of our definition so according to our definition c 
see what we can write we have a dash definition that if f of u u is any element from v and then f of u is alpha 1 times first element so alpha 1 alpha x1 plus beta y1 plus alpha 2 into second element so alpha x2 plus beta y2 plus 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 of 2 alpha n into alpha xn plus beta yn now <coughs> alpha is scalar so i can multiply this by every element or instead of multiplying if we write this as only and we are trying to find another side then also we can do that or we can continue this also so from this alpha alpha x1 plus alpha 1 beta y1 plus alpha 2 alpha x2 plus alpha 2 beta y2 plus 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 alpha n alpha x in plus b sorry alpha n beta y n now from this i can separate the terms which contains x1 and separate the term which contains y1 so i can write here alpha alpha x1 plus alpha 2 alpha x2 plus 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 alpha n alpha xn plus beta sorry alpha 1 beta y1 alpha 2 beta y2 plus 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 alpha n beta y n now from this since my alpha 1 and alpha both are scalar so from the property of vector space we can write this as alpha alpha 1 x1 plus alpha alpha 2 x2 plus 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 alpha alpha n xn plus beta alpha 1 y1 plus beta alpha 2 y2 plus 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 beta alpha n y n so from this i can take my alpha as common so alpha if we take alpha outside uh, alpha outside then we are getting alpha 1 x1 alpha 2 x2 plus 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 alpha n x n plus beta outside then we are getting alpha 1 y1 alpha 2 y2 plus 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 alpha n y n so this alpha remain alpha only if you see this carefully then you will see that this is nothing but our f of x1 x2 up to xn only and if you see this then this is nothing but f of y1 y2 up to yn but this is what f of u and this is what f of v so we are getting here that f of alpha u plus beta v is nothing but alpha f of u plus beta f of v so if we are getting this but we have alpha and beta belongs to f and our u comma v belongs to v n of f so we can conclude that f is a linear functional on v n of f so this is the proof of our first example